Hello everyone, my name is James Ryan. I find a disabled rock transport system. Rock transport floating near the beacon. You consider stripping it of useful parts, but are uncertain why it's there in the first place. Let's strip the ship. You salvage what you can from the ship. No one bothers you during the operation. One fuel, one drum part, 37 scrap. Perfect. A store and a distress signal. We can get to the distress signal from the store, so that's good. Let's go to the store first. See, uh, see about their wares. You receive a hail on Federation frequencies. Your Federation? We we weren't sure we'd ever see a friendly face again. There's a little business here. Perhaps you'd like to trade. Heck yeah. Mmm, hold me so. Emma the Rockman. <laughs> uh, Luan T. The Zoltan. And Logan Johnson the Human. I don't like the description on humans. Common and uninteresting. Bullcrap, man. I prefer the uh, the description of humans I see in a lot of uh, fantasy fantasy that you would see in fantasy games, which is that um in comparison to other races, which is that humans are exceptionally adaptable and uh, flexible and adaptable and can adapt to a, a wide variety of situations without without leaving their comfort zone and also highly variable and you know. We're just all over the place. We're good all-rounders. That's that's our um, special. Like, that's we. That's that's ours. That's how good we are. Uh, probably a bad decision. Actually, I realised I should have gone to the distress signal first. There might have been more. We might have been able to get some scrap, so we could buy some stuff. So let's go there. A ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off the distress signal. Shall we investigate? Could be dangerous. Let's search for the ship. You find what appears to be pieces of a derelict ship coated with ice or crystal before you have a chance to dock. Dock a few asteroids, get past your shields, and partially damage your engines. You'll have to pull out. Shh. And we didn't get to access. Oh, there's another store here, though. But we, we've got a skedaddle. Shoot him. See it, saw what we could buy. Same, pretty much the same stuff, actually. Uh, let's fix all our ship. I don't think we're going to be able to buy anything useful anytime soon. Shelton. Oof. Okay, let's see what we can sell. Can we sell drone parts? Yeah, I guess not. Alrighty then. Uh, can we sell anti-ship? Probably don't want to sell that just yet. Alright, let's go to the next beacon. This looks good. Let's go around here. No, let's go there. <laughs> Shit, an asteroid field. You exit the jumps around by dirt and rocks before long. A blast is deflected by your shield, but that was no asteroid. Incoming pirate. Alright. Let's see what we got. We've got... What have we got? Okay, uh, let's attack the shields followed by the weapons. Uh, shields with heavy eye on, then weapons or what? No, we want to take down their shields for real. So, let's do that. That's the problem with these asteroids, they're just constantly there. Attacking both sides. Okay, so we took down there, but they had like some type of resist thing. Don't know what that's all about. Get another heavy heavy laser on their weapons. As a fire. Nick me, you can sort that out. Alright, now we'll get a burst laser uh, on their shields to keep those shields down. Perfect. There. Now let's just uh, continue firing at their weapons. Oh, an asteroid took him down for us. Nice. 
<clears throat> the ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Three fuel, one drone part, 24 scrap. Pretty cool. Let's let this. Sh let's get Nick me back on there. Let's get Davion. Uh, Davion can stay here. Davion can stay here. Uh, there's a store back there. We went there though. Uh, let's go. Let's go down here. Let's go here. There's a lot of places to go from there. As a as a naturally as a naturally warlike species with few intergal intergalactic diplomatic ties, the Rock People has ga have garnered quite a reputation as fearsome pirates. You stumble across one of their one of their ships and they promptly live up to type. It's okay though. Okay, so we're gonna need the heavy eye on here. So depower the Artemis. Oh, I see. It can't be depowered because. Okay, so let's swap the heavy ion over to there. In this case, uh, we want the, the burst laser takes precedence over the Artemis. Depower the burst laser. Let's get that heavy ion up. I'm gonna put that heavy ion on the shields and burst laser their weapons. Let's do that. Good job, Luanti. Is that your name? No, Davion. Sorry. Good job, Davion. Uh, they're sending uh, something our way. Everything seems to be good so far. Totally taken down their shields for their foreseeable future. So we just taking down one of their shields. So that's pretty cool. So we take down one of their shields with the heavy ion. Oh, okay. I want to go on auto fire now. So burst laser at their weapons. Heavy ion on their shields. So their shields are going to be offline for the foreseeable future, and their weapons are off totally offline. Oh, actually, one of their weapons has come back on. It's okay now; it's off time, offline totally again, and we're not even using up any missiles at all. So this is just awesome. Weapons are down, shields are down. It's great. Uh, we can jump, but we don't want to. We want to keep taking them down. So uh, with this heavy ion, we can actually fully power down their shields. Almost. There's a short. Actually, no. Fully power down their shields because just uh, just as their shield recharges, it still has to. Just as their shield. Even though there's a slight amount of time where the shield um, isn't affected by the heavy ion, it doesn't have enough time to actually put it back up before we take it down again. So we've got our their shields fully out of the way. Not fully. And there's one shield there, but it's fine enough out of the way and we've got their weapons pretty much almost fully taken down. This is in the bag. I don't think we're aiming our heavy eye on at the right time so let's not auto fire. Let's... Oh. I thought I got rid of auto fire. Alright, fine. Auto fire it is. Uh, I think guess the whole point is to aim uh, about this is to, you're supposed to like time stuff so that the heavy iron goes just before the burst laser. That would work better actually, so yeah. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Three fuel, a miss one missile, and thirty scrap. That is great. And there's a distress signal here. Signal here. Signal. What the f Let's go here first, though. <laughs> there's a star here. Unusual solo activity in this region means you need to get out quick. The rock pirate nearby apparently thinks otherwise as they move to attack your ship. Well, they won't have that much of a problem with Pfizer's. They're immune to it, but um, the systems will, I guess. So still kind of have a bit of a problem. Heavy ion their shields and followed by a burst laser to the face. No, to their to their weapons. <laughs> to the face. <laughs> Alright. That's the point where we start we gotta start um being careful with how we shoot stuff. 